Okay, my lovely people. So today we are making some Southwest spaghetti. Um, Southwest spaghetti. Yeah. Um, this is something that we kind of started doing about a year ago, and it's just we've still implemented this recipe into our our lives <laughs> probably at least once or twice a month. But anyway, so I'm browning up one pound of Bass Farm sausage. And you can use any pound of sausage that you want, but we just like this one. So I'm going to let this brown. Then I'm going to come back and um, fill you in on what else I do as this brown. Oh, sorry, that's my grease you know, fries and stuff the other day. Yeah, let's not judge me while it's still on the stew. We went fishing last night, so I didn't get much cleaning done, but Mama will be doing that today. Alrighty, so I'll be back, y'all. Alrighty, so while that, that while that is still cooking, we're gonna go ahead and do the, the diet portion of our meal today. This is the spaghetti that we're gonna use. It is butternut squash spirals and zucchini zucchini spirals. Now let me tell you, you can go ahead and buy these spiralized in like the fresh area but we just find that this works better for us it doesn't taste any better i mean the fresh is always going to be better but this just it makes it easy and you're not limited to you know you have to make it within a couple days so this is we microwave it for six to seven minutes and it you can put them together or separate it doesn't matter because they're going to finish cooking in here so you just want to get them mostly cooked so i'm going to go ahead and put them both in there together and I'm going to put them in there for six minutes. I mean, excuse me, for six minutes, like it says. And that's what we're going to do. And I put it in this microwave safe bowl. You know, it just makes it easier in case things leak. But all right, y'all. Catch you in a few minutes. Hey, guys. I'm back again. So, uh, our sausage is finished cooking. Um, so, now we're getting ready to add the spaghetti sauce, the black beans, the corn, and the rotel. The only thing that I drained is the beans. So, we're, I'm going to add it all in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've added everything in. I'm just going to stir it. And as you notice, these are black-eyed peas instead of black beans. But you know what, y'all? We have committed, so this is what we're doing. But the traditional way to do it is with black beans. And it is better. But you know what? This is a makeshift kind of recipe. Ooh, honey, my TV's too loud. I need to cut that down. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit before we put the um, noodles in. Okay, and I'll be back in just a little bit. And we'll talk about what we're doing next. Okay, now these are the seasonings that I put in. I put in a, about two squirts of the garlic puree, a little zhuzh of red pepper, of course some regular black pepper and salt, and a little a couple zhuzhs of minced onion, and then a whole taco seasoning pack. I have not put them in here yet, so I will let you know what it looks like when we get back. Alright, so this is simmering really good. I have taken out the butternut squash and the zucchini noodles and drained them. And all you got to do is just, well, I like to take a little bit of extra salt. I know it seems like a lot, but we like salt here, but you don't have to do that. It's completely optional. A little pepper. We do not have high blood pressure here. Thank the good Lord. That does not mean we won't get it, but so for right now, we don't. But anyway, um, so we take it and we dump it into here. Get out of there. All right. Now you just kind of mix it up, and um, you're just going to mix it up and let it simmer for probably about, yeah, that's, that's still a little icy, that's okay. Like I said, it's going to simmer in here for probably about another 15, 20, 30, it just depends on your own preference. I mean, these are all, I mean, these are, you can eat these vegetables raw, you know. So, anyways, um, that's pretty much it for right now. I'll come back and show you the finished product and you can put it in a bowl or put it in a plate we eat it with chips sometimes or we can put it in like a spinach wrap or you can eat it by itself and it's completely fine um, but that is our southwest spaghetti squash but remember when you do it use black beans instead of black eyed peas because you know i'm just everything's random here <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching oh sorry i'm gonna come back in just a minute and i'll um, show you the finished product and then i'll do my outro okay thanks bye <laughs> all right y'all it's pretty much simmered in it that is pretty much it. It has simmered away and it is ready to be eat, eaten, ate. Anyway, 
Um, that's that's pretty much it. And guess what? We're gonna play with coming soon. <gasps> I got some new toys. Alrighty. Y'all have a good one, and I will catch y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out with me.